CTM Keygen allows you to fully manage SSH keys stored in the Control M server's database. This includes exporting and importing keys between Control M servers. This video will show you how to use Control M server's CTM Keygen utility to manage SSH keys for remote host via command line. Okay, now we're going to start our demo. If you run CTM Keygen, with no options, it's going to go to interactive mode. Today we're going to focus on using it in batch mode. We're going to use the second window over here so we can keep the usage available. Giving it the, the flag of help will show us available options. So the first thing we want to do is we want to list what keys are currently stored. And you see there's no keys available right now. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a key. So we're going to use the action item of add. We're going to give it a name. And we're going to call it demo underscore key. A passphrase is required. And we're just going to use password because this is just a test. And we're going to make this a RSA key. And we're going to have it create it with 2048 bits. And we're going to save our key as open SSH. And we're going to specify a path for it to be written. Okay, so now it's generating the key. Okay, now what we should see here is the public key. So if we do a more on demo, there's a public key that you can move over to your host so that you can log in via SSH. Now we can verify the key is there by using the action of list. Now, let's say we want to export this key and use it elsewhere. We can export this using the CTM Keygen utility. Okay. And if we do a directory now, we see our export. Okay. And you can see these are actually saved in a putty format and they're one per line. So let's use the utility to delete this key. And to delete it, we have to specify the passphrase. Okay. Okay, now let's recover the key. We just delete it by re-importing it. And we're going to append it. And this could be used to do individual keys if you have a lot of keys in the files by making use of the minus name and specifying the passphrase for that key. And let's verify that our key is there. And there it is. And that concludes today's demo.